Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to F1 Manager 23. This is episode 29. It's weird to have three races into the season and have this long of a break, but it's 25 days. We just finished our race in Australia, and yeah, Azerbaijan, Baku is 25 days away. Good little stretch for a lot of things to happen. We also have the end of the month nearing, so even though we only have 17 million, we're going to spend 12 of that right now. We've got some upgrades on the way. We we don't have to deal with anything on the car for the next week anyway. And so we're going to go ahead and upgrade the wind tunnel. Uh, the suspension simulator is one we need as well, but it's only for the suspension. We're making good progress on the suspension. Otherwise, one of our upgrades currently on the way is a suspension upgrade anyway so we're going to go ahead and get the wind tunnel which is going to impact a lot more also our design center upgrade is now just two days away and you can see significant gains that we're going to get out of that one but also some extra monthly upkeep that's going to start adding up 5.3 million now new month on our hands as we enter april that last month march we saw both sergeant and flourish make small gains but it was enough to get both of them to a 61 and to an 81 respectively gaining one this month the upgrades are looking a lot better uh, for sergeant we're gaining braking and controls so that's race pace uh, for flourish finally breaking a plus one almost to a 50 so smoothness and adaptability again making gains but accuracy plus one the two the keys get gains and then the eh, whatever ones also making gains she's up to an 80 now in adaptability it's her first attribute to reach that mark and her only other one above a 65 is the smoothness so they still are, are continually acting as her two biggest ones and it's just that race pace that that tends to be lacking every point we can get there though is that much closer to having a competitive race driver who's just not there yet, but two more points. Uh, it's gotta be another tenth, tenth of a second. Confidence is medium. Let's check in on that. We haven't seen how things have gone so far this year. Uh, currently, yes, medium, but race performance, they've been happy with. You can see we've only had Vegas at the end of last season, the only disappointed one for quite a stretch. And for the first time we had, you know, really delighted and happy uh, recently. That, that's just not the norm. But of course, last season, that critical failure, that one hurts. This season, we're on target. So that one should turn out to be better, and we're keeping up with the finances. If we can hang on to seventh, the, the one worry here is that this points contender request is going to come up short. We have scored points, so it's not like it's zero, but we're not going to get anywhere near, near 50%. I, I don't think we're going to reach that. We could be seventh. We're going to score some more points. We might score three or four more times this season, potentially. A round number. Maybe we do better than that. Maybe we get five or six. But I, I still, I think we're going to be short of 12. I, I really do think we're going to be short of 12. Well short of 12, potentially. So that's going to be a failure. That one's going to hurt uh, on the objectives. But if we make the seventh, combined with the long-term objective, you know, I don't know. It's hard to say how well that'll offset each other, but a seventh combined with a failure could, well, make it less than critically failed. It might just be a partial failure. So that 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 might you know put us in a better state than we are now and have the job security a lot better. Uh, and Sergeant getting to the point where he's kind of moving up that that grid and making the job easier and allowing us to focus a little bit more on Flourish when she, when she starts to get competitive car's still not good as we uh, enter April, but we've got some big upgrades on the way. I think they're going to make a big difference, and what we've done so far in the year has made a difference. Has. 30-year cornering is 10th and 11th now, so it's it's right there in the middle of the pack. The engine cooling still last, and the brake cooling still 15th, so we haven't made progress there, but that's not and never has been a major focus of mine. The top speed, we were 15th, now it's 13th. The acceleration was last, we're up to 14th. The cornering, that was all 13, 14, 15, it's 11 across the board. 
very balanced doesn't matter whether it's low speed medium speed or high speed it's very balanced and along with that dirty air cornering it's right there at the edge of the points in terms of quality and the top speed is just behind that so we really have a car that is capable of consistent top 12s 11s you know one thing goes your way and suddenly you're in the points that's a good place to be it's a good place to be and it's a lot better place than we were and with the next wave of upgrades when they come depending on how the other teams are doing i think we could be looking at being a little bit better than we are now and maybe you know being a little closer to instead of 12th being 10th or 11th consistently whoa buddy okay uh regulation change for the coming year vote and we're talking major technical changes just by the end of year three we're talking about major technical changes for year four that's huge folks that is huge uh looks like they're talking about the chassis but no it's more than just the chassis isn't it uh so we're talking about 70 percent changes to the chassis or 65 percent uh, we're talking about front wing 50 or 55 and rear wing 50 or 55 side pods 50 or 55 underfloor 50 or 55 and suspension 50 or 55 folks this is wholesale changes this is the moment it's unlocked you start uh, researching that instead like you're done for this year's car done no no more upgrades coming here in a week now the 50 55 so that's an extra 5 10 15 20 25 percent versus five percent saved so 20 percent more if we focus on uh, the major chassis cha changes versus the complete chassis overhaul chassis might take the bigger hit but that extra five percent on everything else means a bigger hit on the car in general now here's the thing our position and slightly towards the back end of the grid means the bigger the overall change across the board the more it helps us that extra 20 percent everywhere else is more beneficial to us than the focus being specifically on the chassis uh, i'm gonna vote for the major change everywhere okay the regulation vote changes in it's a week later we're still four days before azerbaijan I and mean, this is this is a crazy period uh, how teams voted which was have voted in favor of the below option meaning the major chassis change is what's been voted for yes the major chassis change how close was the vote six of us oh tiebreak Ooh, tiebreaker put it in our favor of what we were going for the ones voting against it the alphas aston ripple and mclaren so we have voted alongside ferrari mercedes alpine and haas okay folks the the 20 percent even greater changes is coming we're, we're looking at massive massive change for the coming year huge research necessity ah oh, this is insane and the new research period pre begins today today so we need to start researching next year's car today we are not doing a single additional upgrade on this year's car we have a front wing design that will be done in three days that is literally going to be the final upgrade of the year on this this year's car dang wow now some of the cars are going to continue to upgrade this year's car uh, but we are going to go all in on next year's design now let's hope those eight points and whatever else we can get will help us hang on let's hope other cars continue to commit to this year's car and then see 55 percent of all of those gains 55 percent of the overall lost and less research to cover it off but man oh man we are going to go full bore into the research front now manufacturing wise i have a new 
chassis, side pod, and suspension all in manufacturing right now. Now, the suspension's at 4 out of 5, so we're, we're good there. I have that suspension ready to go on the car for this race. We got the rear wing on last race. We have a side pod. We have a chassis. Those are the two majors with that front wing. And the front wing is actually the minor one. It's the chassis and the side pod that are going to be a bigger deal. I don't have any of those yet. The first one will be done in one day with Azerbaijan in four days. I'm going to wait to put that on the car. So we'll just have the suspension for this race. Uh, but three parts in all this year, other than the suspension this weekend, three more parts coming. And that's going to be it. We're already starting research into next year, which means we're going to begin with the underfloor. The underfloor, uh, good place to start. And the rear wing. I don't know what to say here, folks. Uh, we have lots of hours, but we can't put any hours at all into our research project. At least not on the underfloor. Let's try the rear wing. Can't do it either. No idea what's going on with this, but that means we're still going to work on this year's car, I suppose. You can see that the huge hit we're taking, and this is going to cover... 3% of 55. I'm not seeing anything in the facilities that suggests that I can't commit hours. I'm also not seeing anything in design that allows us to commit hours right now either. So something is bugging out on us uh, at the moment. I'm going to wait till after the race weekend to try to work on any further projects. Uh, I said if I can I'm gonna go all in on research and no more design for the year so uh, for now let's save those hours and see what's going on and if after the weekend we're unlocked and okay greetings from Azerbaijan where we're back in the country's capital well it's not every weekend that Formula One arrives at a UNESCO World Heritage Site but arrive here we have Drivers will race around the historic streets of Baku, which includes the race calendar's tightest corner, beneath a medieval fortress wall. Drivers will be battling it out on the streets of the Baku city circuit, a real contradiction of a track. From the long main straights, where the less drag the better, to the tight turns where downforce is a necessity. Teams are going to have to work hard to get that balance right. I've already committed three races to the current components that are on the car. But with Azerbaijan being a sprint weekend, all that extra wear and tear, I'm going to go ahead and use our now used components. I don't want the brand new ones to take that much extra wear. So we're going to stick with the older parts for this fourth race and then start to turn them into our practice set and start getting into the new components next weekend. It may end up impacting our pace for now that's 13th in practice but that's on softs with others fastest laps coming on mediums that's flourish on hards flourish was once again off the pace but once again sergeant has qualified p9 so i don't know maybe we do have some pace of course i do get that a little bit more on setup but what is our setup going to be looking like here uh, we got Sergeant pretty decent. We got 53%. They were both at 20-something uh, after FP1, and then I had to guess wildly. Normally I can get up there, you know, anything better than 80%, and often high 80s or low 90s uh, without ever controlling practice myself. But with sprint weekends, it's wild. It's all over the place. You have barely any knowledge after one session. Uh, track acclimatization is not there. Carbert's knowledge is getting there with the new suspension. We're at 81% plus that new rear wing that was just introduced at the last week. But setup satisfaction of 76 is okay. It's okay, I, I suppose. We'll, we'll get some more acclimatization here for practice number two. Our sprint today sees the drivers take on 17 laps of the Baku City Circuit. Expect to see plenty making the most of Baku's long, wide main straight. That's going to be their best chance to overtake and secure a strong result. A sprint victory and points up for grabs right here. 
Now's the time for the sprint here in Baku. It's lights out and away we go. I feel like I can afford to go a little more aggressive today as uh, these components aren't necessarily going to be used much more. The, the battery, the ERS probably will be used a bit more. Uh, but the engine, the gearbox, they're going to pretty much serve as our practice units for the remainder of the season. So as we tuck in in P9, sandwiching the uh, Mercedes as Piastri gets around Ocon, where does that really put us? You've got Norris on pole with Magnussen way down P16. How did that happen? Uh otherwise usual suspects. We're ahead of both Alpines right now. We're ahead of one Mercedes. Alvatari is much higher this race weekend than what we've seen so far this season. Haas at the back. Flores all over the back of uh, Giovinazzi as well. Lap 2 has begun. DRS is enabled. Struggling to keep pace with Perez though. That's, that's a worry as we are not going to get DRS here, and that's going to allow the Mercedes to come through. Oh, we got a big safety car deployment, and Sargent's the one involved. Uh, he had just passed Botas, and Botas okay. comes back at him. They're both out of the race. Right, let's have a look now. So we had just three. passed him. To get he comes back at us to Not three. Car in and that, as you can see. That's totally that him. He hits us in the side pod. Sure. His front end hits us in the side pod and he's nowhere the near heading to for watch. the apex. Like he hasn't even started to turn in at this point. He drove straight on into us. Now this is Logan Sargent. Well now I'm really glad we had the Use the components there. A nasty crash into the barrier, and that's a tough one to take for both driver and the car. And Sargent's given the penalty, which makes absolutely no sense. The other car is hardly up alongside him. He's got the right to the corner, and there's more than a car's width, plenty more than a car's width, to the inside. If he doesn't turn in. He doesn't make the corner, he slams into the wall anyway. That is Botas's fault, 100%. So we're gonna get punished duly. He'll start from last place. No one else is opting to pit here. So we're gonna roll the dice. Nothing to lose other than an extra set of softs uh, for the feature race. And we are starting to race as the acceleration is on. It's going to be the beginning of lap 15. We've got three to go, and we are on full attack here all the way to the end. But, of course, they're going to push for two laps themselves. It's the last lap where I really expect to gain something. Uh, but we've got so much more with these fresh tires than what others have. So can we make progress for now? We're ahead of Giovinazzi, but can we hold it? I think we're still side by side. Yes, we tuck in, cut them off. Go to the inside there. So that's one position gained. Not going to worry about the overheating at all. It's three laps to go. We can really go flat out. We've got a crash. A We've got a crash. Graz uh, Grasley. Gasly has crashed. I put the word Gasly and crashed together there. And he's just hit the sidewall. I didn't even see him as we went by. I don't think we had been, been by when we started the uh, highlight there. He is not out of the race, though. He's going to get going again, and that just puts us one more position ahead. So P16, back to full-blown racing. DRS enabled. Oh, right ahead of us, there's a McLaren spun. Safety car deployed. Okay, That's going to finish one. the race. Debris ahead of turn one. That's going to finish the race. DRS disabled. Now we've an incident here. Kevin Magnuson, Magnuson it looks like. K Mag in the McLaren. Just lost it. Broke the suspension. Cars behind him able to avoid though. That's 
It's good for them. That's definitely That's something you didn't see in last Washington year's game. The they would have crashed straight into him. Really must have been a hard one to take. Okay, it's a safety car. Close to the delta as you can. But that is also going to end up making the race finish behind the safety car. So P15 for Flourish today. She beats one car on merit. She beats okay, two cars Tyler on Shorter. stakes. And two cars from a crash. Wow, so not only do we get bumped down to last place, penalized for something that was clearly not our fault, but the car took way more damage uh, than expected. Like, the rear wing shouldn't have taken any damage. The gearbox certainly shouldn't have. It took a shunt, so it could have been hurt, but not destroyed. We're losing, like, this is supposed to be our practice components for a, a huge chunk of the season. The gearbox is completely, 100% destroyed. This is costing us millions, millions of dollars. And then we get blamed for something that's not our fault. Final checks have been carried out on the grid, and it won't be long until we get underway. And as we look to Logan Sargent, you can see the focus and concentration. They line up for their 15th F1 start here today. Can they get a decent result, I wonder? And it looks like we're good to go. This is what you've been waiting for. It's the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. And we're racing from the back of the grid. Flores already down a spot to P16. Sergeant is last. It's ugly, folks. I opted to use the, the bad engine for Sergeant. We're starting from last. Why waste the brand new engine when we're starting from last? At best today, we get ahead of a couple of teams. Worst case scenario, we don't and we have one bad race. But this way, that engine's still saved for next race, but the gearbox, no choice because we're at 0%. Flourish continues her slide backwards here as we start lap number two and Sargent is still last, so getting forward is going to be tricky. That's two laps, and that's things starting to overheat. By the way, the, uh, the game, strategy-wise, really trying to do us dirty. We have underfueled by quite a bit, so we yeah, uh, have to deal with that as we speed things back up. But the uh, the preferred strategy, according to the AI, was medium to hard. Medium to softs, nine seconds faster over the course of the race. Nine seconds. That's huge. That's a huge difference. Sergeant up to P18, by the way, already ahead of Flourish, ahead of Botas, and has caught up to Gasly. If we can make those little gains and, and beat a team or two at the end of the day, that would be a successful day. Sergeant caught in the dirty air, definitely running a little bit hotter as a result. Has not been able to get Gasly. He got him once for a moment and lost it. And we don't seem to be recovering much fuel at this rate. So we're going to have to lift and coast a lot. Uh, but we want to obviously do that when we're in clean air. As we do finally get around Gasly. That'll get us the clean air to cool those tires off. Meanwhile, Flourish. Will she get lapped? I'm guessing she will. She's quite a ways behind already. Not not terribly far, but, you know, all alone. <laughs> so P17 now. DeVries the next target. That'll get us ahead of Haas if we can get DeVries. He does not have DRS, so he should be a sitting duck for us. And we get the overtake done. P16. Okay, and there is a, a crash. crash. It's Botas. exit turn two. Same guy that took us out. Just runs wide. Pour more cars into the pits. What are these guys going to come out on? Softs? Mediums? It's the soft runners putting on the mediums, which can definitely go the distance. Looking at the laps, right? 
There's one car, Stroll, that did go for the, uh, the strategy that they were trying to get us to employ. We're ahead of Sonoda that he pit. Well, those guys behind us are, are gone. Okay. So running in kind of clean air right now, 13th. Contact at turn one. Cars have crashed. There's a lot of debris. It's ahead of us. Turn one. Dangerously close to each other. Ooh, Aston Martin that's quite an and Piastri. Between them. Now their confidence will have taken a hit with that. Minor damage there. The window is open. Copy. Piastri, poor share. No penalties given. Racing incident. Flourish down pit road. All alone. Nice clean air there. No issues. Brand new softs. 2.570. Had to pit a lap earlier than Sargent. Not because she didn't have pace. Uh, but because Sargent didn't have brand new softs. And so needed to stretch by a lap or two of what he could have done otherwise to come out with you know a decent set of tires to the end. So Sergeant now heading down pit road from P13. Already given that up. Already dropped a couple of spots. Where did we come out at? The others have undercut us, but we're on the we're on the softs. We're going to be faster. 2.737. But are we still competitive? We are ahead of Giovinazzi. Uh, we are way behind DeVries in P17. Flourish, P19. Not too bad. Can we hold off Giovinazzi, though? And then, what are we going to do about fuel? We've got a lot of fuel to recover and not a lot of laps to recover it in. Compared to those other guys around us, DeVries, 81% already, so we're 10% better off. We should have better pace. Giovinazzi, for right now, up to temperature, has better pace. I don't mind him being ahead of me for a little bit, actually, because I can then just run behind and conserve. And top up. I should be able to keep up with him. We are a lap down now, but that's not going to do it yet, I think, for a flourish. Another crash third of the weekend here for Botas and he just lost it on the well, final That's proper cool. corner there's that little chicane down the straight itself I don't know if they count that one or not sergeant still all over the back of Giovinazzi with uh, eight laps to go and the fuel is nearly right the battery is we'll get ahead of him quite soon uh, just trying to get that last little bit of fuel right. But we're 13 seconds behind DeVries, so we've lost one second on him overall over this stretch. And used up what was our ability to attack with the tires. So uh, lack of fuel recovery today definitely hurt us. Flourish will finish ahead of Botas at least in 19th, but it looks like it's going to be a P P17 today for Sargent. Definitely a day to forget. That's ahead of zero teams. That's a last place team finish. We've had another crash. So many crashes today, but only one impacting us at all. Was that even a crash? The tiniest of contact. All right, with Sergeant as we have finally decided it's time to go for it and to try to uh, get away from Giovinazzi. Meanwhile, we're two seconds closer to... Uh, to DeVries now. No penalties given on that one. Minor racing incident. We get very close down the straight, but we should be able to get him on the secondary straight here. In between uh, turns two and three. Boy. Make sure you Already looking at the inside. Okay. We've got the DRS. Attack. Go a little harder here. And we're up the inside. Look up for your tires. Yeah. And there's P8, P17 tires. now. P17. Can we drive away from uh, Giovinazzi? Can we close up on DeVries? I think we're not enough laps to go. But we're definitely getting away from uh, Gio pretty quickly. 
Surprised that we are overheating after completing the overtake. 991, over a second. Well before the detection zone. So what GRS? Yeah, copy that. Boy, battery empty. Gosh, it was at 70% just a second ago. 1.2, that should do it. Not as fast as I thought, but already down to 8.4 to DeVries, so how is Geo so much faster than DeVries right now? I don't know, but okay. Flourish is fine, she's a lap down. Sergeant still on the lead lap, though. Sainz and Verstappen are not far behind, so we've nearly got a lap today. 1.7, we are pulling away, but three laps to go. Low fuel, so be mindful of that. Verstappen has taken the win ahead of signs. Leclerc, Russell, Norris, Perez, Stroll, Ocon, okay, Porcher, the and then Sonoda in the Alpha Tauri is going to get the final it. point, their first point of the season. Flores so finishes that. 19th, first car a lap down. Only two cars a lap down overall. We've pulled away from Giovinazzi pretty comfortably. Six seconds to the good, but still almost five behind the breeze. So uh, the overtake came a little bit too late, or the fuel getting right came a little too late to have the ability to catch and, and overtake DeVries. Uh, Albin was a further six seconds ahead, so those were the... That would have gotten us two teams, but we only beat one of their drivers. At least Flores beat somebody today. Let's check it flag. So that's definitely a day check to flag. forget. It also means that I didn't get the bonuses, and I do lose some of what we wagered. But overall, over the two races, we do gain... A, a little bit since deciding to commit to commit to those wagers and I think I'll continue to that was definitely a fluke we had a good qualifying position but started the sprint poorly we got taken out by another car blamed for it dropped to last place had a 36 percent engine where were we supposed to go what were we supposed to do with that race under those circumstances if I had a brand new engine that extra power we would have beat that one or two drivers finished eighth best as a team today and put extra wear into the engine. I'd rather take one bad race and just walk away and move on. And so that's what we've done. But major, major regulation changes on the way. And hopefully I can start committing hours. I don't know what was going on, why that was freaking out, but I should be able to start committing hours either to design or to research, either one. Uh, so whatever's going on with that, hopefully it's resolved. But that's going to do it for this episode. I've got a lot to think about. No, I don't. I don't have a lot to think about. I have a lot to do. Research. Research, 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 research. Development, nada. Research, 100%. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.